Hello guys, uh, welcome to Malik Joe 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Uh, this is again a continuation series uh, on my ASM uh, complete understanding course where uh, we already covered a couple of uh, topics on ASM understanding and uh, right now in this today's session I'm going to cover about uh, you know failure group. So what do you mean by failure group? So if I consider this entire thing as a, a disk group and you know I'll be having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 disks and uh, in the controller 1 I'll be having a 6 disks and controller 2 I'll be having a 6 disks and controller 3 I'll be having a 6 disks. So at any case if I lose any of one controller so I'll be still having my data is available. So the definition of failure group goes like this subset of disks in a disk group dependent on the common hardware resource whose failure must be tolerated. So if I want if I want to go in detail the failure group an example of failure group is a string of iSCSI disconnected to a common iSCSI controller. A failure of controller leads to all the disks on an iSCSI bus becoming unavail unavailable. Although each of the individual disks are still functional, but I will not be able to access any of the disks since a single controller failure leads to you know or the functional disk may be unavailable. What constitutes a failure group is a site specific. It's largely based upon the failure mode that a site is willing to tolerate. After a failure group are identified, ASM can optimize the file layout to reduce the unavailability of the data due to failure of a shared resource. So if I want to give a clear understanding of this failure group concept, I will go back to my paint. I will, uh, uh, you know, uh, draw in detail. So this is disk one disk 2 and disk 3 and then similarly I will be having a disk 1, disk 2 and disk 3. Alright so if I can consider this as my okay this is I can give control failure group failure group 1 and if I can go it as a failure group 2 okay this is my failure group 1 and failure group 2 and but both the failure group and failure group 2 are part of my single disk group that is my data disk group and going to be data disk group and data dg so if I can if I can tell that this disk is of uh, 100 GB and this is of uh, 100 GB and again this is of my 100 GB and similarly this failure group also having same similar 100 GB and this is 100 GB and this is 100 GB so this data disk group is made up of six disks of total you know I can say 600 GB but you know since these are the two failure group I can consider only 300 GB is you know I can use at the max and because whatever copy is going to reside in this disk one uh, the same copy is going to reside on this disk one and whatever the data on this disk two the same copy is going to reside on this this disk and whatever data resides on this disk is going to copy of same data into this disk so it's basically redundant that's a copy of data is going to be written to these disks so I can use maximum 300 GB of my data disk group out of 600 disk due to the I can say redundancy or I can say failure group you know this is the concept the failure group came into uh, picture here and what happens if this particular disk goes unavailable and its mirror copy will be available for my ASM instance or my database instance and this particular disk goes offline or dropped and automatically this mirrored copy will be available and this particular disk is unavailable and this particular mirrored copy will be activated and what happens if this entire disk controller entire failure group disk 1 2 3 are 
unavailable automatically failure group 2 will be activated and then all this three disk mirror copy will be activated and you know will be served to my asm instance or database instance so that is a concept of my failure group in asm or in in a cluster where each disk is a failure group of other disk right so if i can uh, redefine one more time the 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 definition of failure group subset of a disk in a disk group dependent on a common hardware resource whose failure must be tolerated either a single disk failure or a multiple disk failure or entire disk group controller failure so everything will be controlled everything will be tolerated by some other disk or some other controller right if i can go further the failure group concept failure group exist independent from the redundancy type but required for normal or high redundancy in case of normal redundancy or high redundancy this failure group is must and if you are going with external redundancy so no need to worry about failure group the redundant copies of the same data are placed in the different failure group as i said the same copy or same content same data will be copied to the other disk to just to avoid uh, the sing, uh, any single point of failure of any single disk when creating a disk group or adding a disk to the disk group administrator can specify the failure group by default each disk in a single failure group is a you know uh, the the failure group of other disks if you can check this particular note here the asm won't do hardware check when you are creating a failure group from this we got three possible for creating a failure group create a real failure group according to the definition independent of hardware define a failure group of your own use a default each disk as a separate failure group so any of this possibility you can create your failure group and if i go to the next slide the redundancy uh, the disk group mirroring as i already covered disk group mirroring and you know disk mirroring or data mirroring or striping everything i covered i'll just reiterate here this option describes how to mirror a data within a disk group mirroring done on extent level between the failure groups which belongs to the same disk group when you define a disk group you specify its redundancy like external redundancy normal redundancy and high redundancy external redundancy indicates that asm does not provide any redundancy of the disk group with when you specify the normal redundancy that is a default option a disk group can tolerate the loss of a single failure group within a uh, you know without data loss high redundancy means provides a greater degree of protection three way mirroring right redundancy external redundancy data exist only once you can see this is data a data b and data c this a b c data exist only once there won't be any duplicate or mirroring of the data normal redundancy two way mirroring one additional extent copy at least two failure groups you can see this disk is a one failure group and this disk is another failure group and you can see make out this color coding this is the primary extent and this is a mirroring secondary extent and this is a primary extent and this is a mirrored secondary extent and this is a primary extent and this is a mirrored secondary extent and if you go with high redundancy it's a three way mirroring two additional copies at least three failure groups you can see one two three this all these three disks are individually failure groups of each other and you can see this is the primary extent and these two are the secondary mirrored copies and this is primary extent and these are the mirrored copies and this is uh, uh, primary extent and these are the you know secondary mirror copies so you know this is having a three way of mirroring if i can check anything here okay yeah the disk group mirroring asm has a three disk group types that support different types of mirroring external redundancy normal redundancy and high redundancy external redundancy disk group does not provide any mirroring use external redundancy disk group if you have a hardware mirroring or any kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh, mechanism to copy externally uh, hardware copy uh, hardware mirroring or software mirroring you can use it externally asm will not have any copies normal redundancy is a two way mirroring and high redundancy provides you know triple mirroring three like you know three copies asm uses a unique uh, you know uh, 
मिररिंग अलगोरिजम ए एस एम डज नॉट मिरर डेटा रादर इट मिरर एक्सटेंड्स ए एज ए रिजल्ट यू नीड यू नीड स्पेयर कैपेसिटी ओनली इन यूअर डिस्क्रूप वेन ए डिस्क फेल्स ए एस एम ऑटोमेटिकली रिकन्स्ट्रक्ट द कंटेंट ऑफ द फेल्ड डिस्क ऑन द सर्वाइविंग डिस्क इन द डिस्क्रूप बाय रीडिंग द मिरर्ड कंटेंट फ्रॉम द सर्वाइविंग डिस्क इन दिस वे द आईओ हिट फ्रॉम ए डिस्क फेल्यूअर इज स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द सवरल डिस्क रादर दैन ऑन अ सिंगल डिस्क दैट मिरर्स द फेल्ड ड्राइव्स वेन ए एस एम अलोकेट्स ए प्राइमरी एक्सटेंट ऑफ अ फाइल टू वन डिस्क इन ए डिस्क ग्रुप इट अलोकेट अ मिरर्ड कॉपी ऑफ द एक्सटेंट टू अनदर डिस्क इन द सेम डिस्क प्राइमरी एक्सटेंट ऑफ ए गिवन डिस्क कैन हैव देयर you know respective mirrored extent one on one or several partner disk in a disk group that is called you know the failure group each disk in a disk group has the same ratio of the primary and mirror extent basically what it says if i can consider this as a single disk group like data disk group and each disk will be hacked as a failure group of others and whenever data is written to any one of the disk the automatically mirrored copy will be written to the other disk and in case of any disk fails and asm will reconstruct whatever data belongs to that particular disk in the surviving disk by just making their mirrored copy as a active extents and this mirroring was done at the extent level at the asm level mirroring has done at the extent level and you know how you can set up a disk group create a disk group disk group name external redundancy and you can mention disks disk 1 disk 2 disk 3 and disk 4 this is having no mirroring because you are mentioning as a external redundancy if you create a normal redundancy create a disk group disk group name normal redundancy failure group 1 and you have to mention disk 1 and disk 2 and failure group 2 you have to mention disk 3 and disk 4 and if it is a high redundancy you have to mention failure group 1 2 and 3 okay so how you can monitor v dollar asm underscore disk select disk number name path header status mode status and state total mb free mb from v dollar disk you will get a output like this and if you can see these are the disk number as you say disk number disk number you can see here disk numbers and these are the name of the uh, disk what you given at asm level and these are the path and these are the header status provisioned candidate member and mode status online or offline and state it's a normal or mounted or you know whatever state and total mb and free mb and this particular header status i have a couple of more them and header status common will contain one of the following values you can see unknown it means asm disk header has not been read candidate the disk is not part of the disk group and may be added to a disk add it to a disk group with the later alter disk group command and provisioned means the disk group is not part of uh, disk is not part of a disk group and may be added to a disk group with the alter disk group command the provisioned header status is different from the candidate header status in the provision status implies that an additional platform specific action has been taken by the administrator to make disk available for example ch1 root will be bring disk into provision state right if you change the disk ownership you know it will come it it will change my header status to provision from the candidate and if it's a member the normal member of an existing disk group no attempt should be made to add the same disk to a different disk group the alter disk group command will reject such a additional unless overridden within the force option so if it is already member of a some fail, some disk group you cannot add it to the other disk group former means the disk 
was once a part of a disk group but has been dropped cleanly from the disk group it may be added to a new disk group with the alter disk group command and conflict conflict means asm disk not mounted due to conflict incompatible incompatible means asm disk header has version incompatible with the software foreign means disk contains data created by the oracle product other than asm this includes data files log files or ocr files and mirror mirroring hung after a disk was removed physically but other disk from the same disk group still exist these are the different uh, you know header status okay so vdollar asm disk group that will give you uh, your uh, disk group information how uh, what is the uh, red energy type and what is the total mb and what is the free mb what is the uh, you know uh, uh, actual data and disk group name you know everything will get it you can see select star from v dollar uh, asm underscore uh, disk group the group uh, number group name sector size block size allocation unit and state and redundancy type external or normal or i and total mb and free mb everything will get it here and you know it is at the asm level you can also check it as uh, using asm cmd login to asm cmd command and lsdg and you know few more things so i'm going to show you all these commands and you know uh, output uh, you know in in live lab demo in, in shortly and uh, we dollar asm underscore file you can see you can query this one select group member and this one from we dollar asm file you will see all those uh, you know files uh, the group uh, group number and you know file number and block size bytes and you know a space and type of the file data file control file what kind of uh, uh, file it is and redundancy and you know uh, striping you know coarse and fine grained you know everything will get it and if i can go to next move data between the uh, disk group so uh, you know i will stop it here for today and then you know i will jump into the lab session and then we'll see all those so whatever we covered so far we will uh, jump it uh, we'll check it physically uh, thank you guys